So we're going to discuss extreme problem. So in this subtopic, you have to know what how to find your critical point, and then how how to verify your relative extremum means maximum or minimum using first derivative test and second derivative test. Find the point of inflection, sketch the graph, and then lastly solve the optimization problem is daily problems. Okay, so we go for the first concept critical points. Look at the definition here. Definition number three. So we will call we will call the number is critical number. C is a critical number where when you find your first derivative, when you find your first derivative, it is equals to zero or it is undefined. Alright, so two situation. Two situation means when we find our first derivative when we equal to zero, so that value we find out that value x equals to c, so that value is critical number. Or sometimes when we differentiate, we get the function, we find out the value where it is undefined, so that is a critical number. Number. When we find out the coordinate y, we find back the coordinate y, that will be a value, critical value. Put in your coordinate C and FC, so it will become a coordinate point, a point form, so critical point. Alright, so what is your critical point? So this is the critical point where F prime C it is equal to 0. And for this part, it will be F prime C where it is undefined. So you can notice that this is your C, critical number, critical number, critical number. Find out your point, FC, critical value. Okay, put in coordinate, become a point form. So, tiga terms di sini. So, tiga terms di sini. Bila kita cari dy dx sama dengan kosong, uh, dy dx sama dengan kosong, so ini critical value. A critical number. Ah, uh, ini critical number kita. Ini critical number kita juga. Ini critical number kita. So bila kita cari koordinat y, dia akan dapat critical value. Alright. So critical point. Ah, uh, adalah kamu nampak kalau f prime c zero. Di sini akan berlaku. Mungkin dia akan dapat minimum point. Mungkin dia akan dapat maximum point. Ataupun di adalah inflection point. So when your dy dx equals to zero, your point can be maximum, can be minimum, or inflection point. So how to know it is minimum or maximum or inflection point? You have to undergo your test, whether first derivative test or second derivative test, to verify out that is maximum, minimum, or inflection. So the first step is you have to identify out what is your critical point. Okay, cari critical point di mana first derivative tu sama dengan kosong. Uh, critical point ataupun f prime x tu undefined. Then kita tengok. So biasanya kita akan diberi satu curve function. Okay, kita akan diberi satu curve function contoh ini dan Kita akan cari dia punya first derivative supaya we let it to be zero to find out what is your critical number x. Then kita substitute balik x coordinate tu untuk mencari y coordinate to find out critical number. To find out critical value di sini. Kemudian letak balik x y so dia jadi satu bentuk point dah. Okay so critical point. So, apakah itu stationary point? Stationary point, turning point, relative point. So, semua itu adalah benda yang sama regarding to the critical point. Boleh? So, dia ada berbagai nama. Critical point adalah tempat tempat di mana at prime first derivative to kosong ataupun first derivative to undefined. Stationary point and then relative point, turning point adalah di tempat f prime x to zero. 
Okay, so not all the critical num critical point are stationary point. Pahanga. Pahanga. Not all the critical point are stationary point. Uh, so but critical point definition here the body equals to zero or first derivative here undefined. But stationary point, turning point, relative point it is where your first derivative equals to zero. So you punya uh, kalau critical point dia sama macam ni, maksudnya stationary point dia ada dua bahagian. When your first derivative uh, equals to zero or undefined, we call it critical point. For those under equals to zero, we can call it stationary point. We can call it relative point. We can call it turning point. Macam-macam point. So, itulah penggunaan stationary point, relative point bukan bermaksud sama dengan critical point. Sebab critical point masih lagi merangkumi di mana f prime x kamu adalah undefined. Uh, titik yang dapat dicari bila dia undefined. So, untuk bahagian sini, example ni sini kuranglah kamu rujuk tutup dia. So, apa yang kita buat di sini ialah more to the more to the situation where our f prime x equals to zero. Finding the stationary point, relative point and turning point. So, let first example determine the stationary point of this curve. So, you are given first step, you are given a curve. To find out its critical point, ataupun to find out its stationary point, means you have to find your dy dx, let it to be zero. So, do your first derivative, cari dy dx, differentiate untuk kali pertama. Power turun depan, power tolak satu. Power turun depan, power tolak satu. Different shape, milan x, dapat milan. So this is your first step. Find your first derivative first. Second step, select our dy dx equals to zero, where our critical point will be happen. Find out the critical number. Find out your critical number. So quadratic equation, solve this. What's your critical number? Factorize 3x, x, 1 and 9, and then plus. So your critical number is x equals to negative 1 over 3 and x equals to negative 9. Critical number. Kemudian, kita cari koordinat y dia. Hmm. Kemudian, kita cari koordinat y dia. When x equals to negative 1 over 3, apakah koordinat y dia? Substitute balik kepada equation yang asal di sini. Another coordinate when x equals to negative 9. So, this is what we mean here. This is your critical value. So your y value is your critical value. Your x is a critical number. But what we want here is point. So 
So when your one point means our answer should be in coordinate form. So lastly, we put in coordinate form stationary points are negative 1 over 3, negative 1, 2, 1 over 27. Another point, negative 9, 3, 2, 1. So this is how we find our stationary point. Ataupun dia boleh bagi nama lain, ketiga point, point lah dalam bentuk point lah. So we haven't know yet, this one, this one is maximum or minimum of inflection. We have to undergo our first derivative, then only we can verify uh, any minimum girl, any maximum girl, girl, their infraction. Okay?